everyone, my name is Lisa Alton Geest. I'm a uh, lecturer here at the School for Financial Planning Law. And we are here today for a nice informal chat with Hendra Crawford and Karen White. They are the facilitators of our... Okay, so Karen, now that you mentioned ontological coaching, you are a master, um, finan not financial coach, but master life coach. So, um, and as you were speaking, the wording that I was hearing were moods, were language, were listening. So it's soft type of skills. So what um, exactly is a participant who wants to come for this training? Uh, what can they expect uh, within that, that three days? Okay. So um, I'm a master certified coach and credentialed through the ICF. And I think what often happens, and, and the thing with coaching, so coaching is a complete buzzword at the moment, and coaching seems to be gaining lots and lots of ground. Um, and there are different levels of coaching, which I think for the marketplace to pay attention to is really, really important. So coaching is not a profession, it's an industry. In other words, anyone can call themselves a coach, and many people do. And there are now bodies that have come, like the International Coach Federation, who are saying, look, let's try and move coaching towards a profession. So, and, and I'm passionate about continuing to do that. And, and I think I'm sharing that because I think for anyone in the marketplace seeking coaching or coaching qualification to understand that it's a bit the Wild West and they want to do due diligence is important. And then... Um, moving over to the course, I think that what the course offers is it's a, it's a few things. It's a blueprint for doing life. So I think they will receive much more than tools and techniques. And um, we've been banding this word, this word, these words, ontological coaching about, and I'd like to now speak a little bit about that. So ontology if you go to a dictionary, it's the study of being or the study of the nature of human existence. So it's interested in like, what does it mean to be a human being? What makes us tick? Why are we here? Why do we exist? So very steeped in existential philosophy and ontological coaching is coaching to way of being, which means coaching to who and how the person is. Not so much, because if someone is able to shift at the level of their way of being, they don't need so much tools and techniques to have a difficult conversation, because they have a different sense of self that enables them to walk into a meeting and speak up in a different way. So we're very interested in helping people firstly become aware of their patterns, their way of being, what are sort of perceptions and attitudes that are sitting in the background that they're not aware of, and then very practically, how to use language differently to get better results. How to um, notice their moods, be able to be aware of their clients' moods, and how to shift those moods. So that's gonna have them be at their best. And then we also work very much with the body to create a shift that's gonna help them be more relaxed, more at ease. Um, and be able to show up in, a, in the world in the way that they want to. I think um, what participants also have to realize when coming to this course, we as financial advisors, we are, so we have our idea of what a workshop is um, and what, it's, what is expected of you, it's technical, working out calculations, things like that. This is going to be something completely different. Am I right? going to yes. be focused on you as the human being and, yes. and it's going to show you how you can be the best financial advisor you can be by taking things like language, your body um, and all of those things into account. So they should not expect a classroom set up where one person is talking and they are taking notes. It's not that. Yes, thank you. That's a really good point. It's a, we talk about it being a very in-action workshop. So we share concepts and then people apply it to their life and their working life and they see what they can shift. And I think the other thing, the last part of the in action, so we do that consistently throughout the three days. Um, and then the last part of the 
the course, the last afternoon is focused on people having a coaching conversation. And I think maybe the other thing just to mention is that, like, why coaching conversations? Surely financial advisors don't need that. And one of the, one of the things I would claim is financial advisors and leaders, it's crucial to be able to have if you don't like the word coaching conversation, you can drop that. You could put learning conversation. To be able to have learning conversations that help the client tap into what's important for them, help the client realize what attitudes and perceptions drive them. So being able to, so a key takeaway is a framework to have those kinds of conversations um, to use in, in their own lives and then also to use always with permission with clients. Good. Um, what I also can mention is just to know that um, for financial advisors out there who are uh, CFP accredited, that this course um, or workshop is going to be count towards 23 CPD points for, from the FPI. Um, and so that is quite a, a, a thing to get done within three days. So, um, Hendrik, maybe you can just give us an idea of your background, so you can introduce yourself. Thanks, Liesl. So, yeah, so I, I'm uh, seasoned in the industry in terms of being a financial advisor, being involved in uh, management, and also from a strategic viewpoint, involved in the industry as such. Uh, I'm a certified um, professional coach uh, and also I explored different coaching modalities before we decided on positioning specifically the ontological approach uh, towards and, partner, and partnering with the, the School for Financial Planning. Uh, specifically, we made sure that it is practical for financial planners and can be applied. I think to add to Karen's point in terms of the workshop and your point, it's very practical and we really make it practical how you can apply it in your practice, how you can have these learning conversations. And I think also to your earlier point, Liesl, eh, the nice thing of ontological coaching and the financial coaching program is also, it's not just a tool that you can apply as part of your practice for your clients, but it will also influence you as a human being, give you a new lens to look at the world and also improve your relationships and your practice. So that is that really excites me. I can then also say that we also created the online forum for all students that completed the course where we share with each other our practical experiences and also share other interesting things that impact financial planning and financial coaching. So this is not just a once-off engagement. We also created a platform for us to engage afterwards and learn from each other. 